The island of the Hispaniola has a, like a main volcanic center in the middle of the island, and it's divided certainly in two parts, the northern belt and the southern belt. In the northern belt, we have the calco-alkaline uh, rocks where uh, we have mineral deposits like uh, uh, Pueblo Viejo, also like Cerro de Maimón, uh, Las Animas that belong to Gold Quest, and many others potential. In the southern belt is more like a virgin new discovery belt, and that's where we have our uh, main recent discovery Romero area. Also Unigold had properties, and on the Haitian side, uh, Newman and uh, Majescor are also doing exploration. So this volcanic uh, island arc in the center of the island has a lot of potential for mineral exploration. Gold Quest goes back to 2001 when they first uh, initiated exploration in the Dominican Republic using a stream sediment program sampling. And uh, just after the first uh, stream sediment sampling, uh, uh, Goldfield joined the company as a, as a joint venture to explore in more details. That's when uh, they stake ground in the country and they did uh, all the different exploration procedures uh, to define areas of target for drilling. Finally, they decided to uh, explore in more detail the Scandalosa area where Las Tres Palmas trend had been defined. Las Tres Palmas in general is actually an area with a lot of potential, and that's where actually three projects have been identified, Scandalosa Sur, Ondo Valle, and the recent discovery Romero, uh, Romero area in the north, most northern part of the trend.